We would like to start with the first, with the entrance hymn, Amazing Grace.
Maureen, may God the Father who made you his child, her child in baptism, bless you. May God the Son who was truly redeemed you from all evil, bless you. May God the Holy Spirit, the helper and comforter in all distress, bless you. May the Holy Tree you and God bless your departure from our midst and your entrance into the midst of the perfect ones of the church from now on until eternity. Amen. Maureen, I will light a candle like we have done when I was at your bed. That's the Easter candle. The Easter candle is a light that Jesus is resurrected, that he is born to new life. And that is also you. You are born to a new life. And we believe that you are going to heaven. We want, to st we want to start this service in God's name, in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Almighty God be with you all and with your spirit. So I notice that we are from different churches. You are nine siblings and you belong to the Catholic Church. Peter, you belong to the Protestant church, and there will be many others also who belong to other churches. But she will now unite us. And that is a very good thing, that we are united in Christ. Death is nothing. I just went into the next room. What I was for you, I still am. Give me the name you have always given me. Speak to me as you always have. Do not use any other way of speaking. Do not be solemn or sad. Continue to laugh at what we have laughed at together, what we laughed about together. Pray, laugh, think of me, pray for me, that my name may be spoken as it has always been without any special intonation, without a trace of shadow. Life means what it has always been. The tree is not cut. Why should I no longer be in your thoughts? Just because I am no longer in your sight? I am not, for, uh, I am not far away just on the other side of the path. Dear Peter, dear siblings, especially Dorothy as a, as a twin sibling, so, and dear friends and mourners, we want to say goodbye from a very beloved person. I noticed that I don't know her very well. I just was at your house once, and you have been at my place once, so I don't know very much about her. But it's good that you are here, and that we are connected to the world in France, and New Zealand, and Australia, and where all your friends are, the friends also of Maureen. That you are here with us, and that we are connected. And I hope it's okay that my I don't know that my dog is here <laughs> under the altar. She's lying here, that she is with us, and she's very friendly to human beings. We want to welcome Christ in our midst. A person who was close to us, whom we loved, is no longer alive. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. We bring good, beautiful memories, but also what we owed each other. 
Christ have mercy. Lift us up in our grief. Lord, have mercy. The Almighty God have mercy on us. He lift us up and he will be always with us. Let us pray. O oh Lord, we pray that Maureen, Maureen's life is now in your hand, that she's with you and that you open your arms for her because we believe that Jesus is resurrected. He didn't stood in to death. He got up after three days and he is now welcoming everybody of us. Please give us your company through our life that we can trust in you now and forever. Amen. Four, verse 13 to 18. We want you to be quiet, sisters and brothers, about those who have fallen asleep, to make sure that you do not grieve for them, as others do who have no hope. We believe that Jesus died and rose again, and that in the same way God will bring with him those who have fallen asleep in Jesus. We can tell you this from the Lord's own teaching, that we are still alive for the Lord's coming will not have any advantage over those who have fallen asleep. At the signal given by the voice of the archangel and the trumpet of God, the Lord himself will come down from heaven. Those who have died in Christ will be the first to rise. And only after that shall we who remain alive be taken up in the clouds, together with them, to meet the Lord in the air. This is the way we shall be with the Lord forever. With such thoughts as these, then, you should encourage one another. The word of the Lord. Praise to Lord Jesus Christ. We will sing the second hymn, The Lord is my shepherd. I would like to ask you to stand up for the gospel. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Do not let your hearts be troubled. But trust, you trust in God. Trust also in me. In my father's house, there are many places to live in. Otherwise, 
I would have told you, otherwise I would have told you. I'm going now to prepare a place for you. And after I have gone and prepared you a place, I shall return to take you to myself, so that you may be with me where I am. You know the way to the place where I am going. Thomas said, Lord, we do not know where you are going, so how can we know the way? Jesus said, I am the way, I am the truth and life. No one can come to the fathers except through me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. I think you will have recognized already that I'm not English speaking person, I'm German speaking normally, and I will make mistakes so in my pronunciation and so but hopefully you can understand me what I'm saying. So Dear Peter, dear siblings, sisters and brothers, dear friends and mourners, do not let your heart be troubled. You trust in God, trust also in me. It is not so easy to say that at this day, to say these things, these words. So many stories are going through your mind. I only know a very short time, but you know a very long, and you have pictures in your mind. And maybe you have been together at an, at an uh, event or something, and you have been together at 28 years, so there are many stories, and you will see how many stories still come up, and you will think, and some tears running to your eyes, that's good to do that, to cry, even to cry, and to, yeah, that, to think about your life. I only knew her a very short time, and now it's to me to say something about Maureen's, Maureen. I don't know very much. You, I, I only can say what you told me, but I'm grateful that you called me. I wasn't at home, I was in Cape Town at that moment, but I could come on Monday morning to your place. And I also brought the Easter candle already to your place, and you put it on the, in front of the window. I'm, hopefully it was okay for her because you said she's very, everything has to be on her place. So it got in, uh, the candle got a place in her room because her house, when I was in the house, what I remembered was that everything was clear in the house. There was not, nothing messed up or something like that. So everything was clear on the, on the place, on its place. And it was, everything was clean and so, she, so that was the way she liked it, you said so. That, she, that was the way. <clears throat> I don't know what she has experienced, experienced when I was at her bed. She experienced something, but my, my own experience is that dying people are very aware that they are not, even if they don't, can react. The spirit is aware. And so I, I'm sure that she noticed that you have been around her and with her at that time, and that she got the blessing from God. We anointed her, the anointing for the sick, and we already wished her a good way that she could, that she could move on to heaven. 28 years, you were a couple. That has been good times. Of course, there will also have been bad times, I think so. That's normal life. I was wondering if it wouldn't have been bad times. But so we, we all, every time, we have to think about forgiveness. And forgiveness goes on. Over. When, it's, when you couldn't say forgiveness for one, one thing, you can still speak to her. That was the entrance. Just speak to her like, like a sibling, no? that you were like a, a sibling and a twin. You said you were very close to each other and your kids and your grandkids have been her kids and her grandkids. 
Just speak to her like you always spoke to her. Do that. That's, we are united through baptism and God knows how to unite. Don't be afraid. I saw already the people crying when you saw that's good to, 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 give, to give to another person what you are feeling and that you also feel sad to tell them I also feel sad that she's not with us now. She's with us in the picture. It looks like a wedding picture actually for me, this picture with the white roses and so you also choose white roses and white flowers. So just be with her and think about her and say thank you for her life when you think about her. Her life was not so easy because she was already sick a long time. Long time ago she was already sick. But you said she never complained. She always said when people ask her, how are you? And she said, I'm fine. And you said sometimes to the doctor, please tell you I'm not fine. So she was sick. Now she said, I'm fine, she said so. So that was something what you mentioned from her that she was, and she was never speaking bad about other people. So, and the people knew her, especially at the coffee shops. We talked about them, that she likes coffee, uh, coffee, coffee latte, uh, but very hot. So that I noticed. So maybe, hopefully the coffee is hot today. And, and, uh, and the, the people, is, even at the petrol station, when you came with a the car, they ask you, where's your wife? So they, and they all knew her name. Even the nurses in the hospitals, they knew her name. So she was, she was known and she was likable. Maybe that was what, they, what she has given to other people what she could give to other people. And there, maybe she's a role model for us to give this kindness. She was a believer, you said so. I found the big rosary in your living room on the wall. It was placed there and there was a rosary over, hanging over her bed, next to her bed. And she was praying and listening to worship song. She was not, you said, she was not going to the church to the building but she was she was a believer and she was praying the rosary some uh, non-catholics sometimes think that we pray to mary not to god that's not true the rosary is a kind of of meditation and thinking about the life of jesus you always put a sentence of jesus who has when you pray when you greet mary who has carried the cross, thinking about what Jesus has done to carry the cross, what does that mean? So she was praying the rosary, she, or the rosary means something to her, maybe she was holding it in her hand, the cross holding in her hand, that was, she, it was meant something to her that, we, that she could hold, no? that she could, in her struggling, that there's something I can hold on, and she hold on Jesus, and his mother. Very often mothers are very important for our belief. Even when we grow up, that our mothers and grandmothers, when they talk about their belief, they are very important. And that Jesus got a mother is something very important. He's not just appear in the world he was born, but we are celebrating on Christmas that word, word, word God flesh. So that it's that we celebrate on Christmas. And then we celebrate on Easter, what we have done three weeks ago, that he's re resurrected from death. But what he's doing, what Jesus is showing to, the, to, the, to his disciples when he came to Jesus, he just came into the room and they were afraid. What was he showing? Do you know that? I'm looking at, at your grandson. I don't know. I don't remember. Do you know what he was showing when Jesus came to his disciples? They were very afraid because what is a ghost doing to him? Why is a ghost coming? He saw it's a ghost. Jesus comes. He was showing his wounds, his hands. There were the nails where the nails went through, and the side where the it's not an arrow. I don't know in English. <laughs> yeah, 
I couldn't pick it up now, but it, it is, there was a wound, he was showing that. So Jesus is not only going to heaven, Jesus is still showing his wounds, what he was going through, and that's something very important. And I'm sure from the, from also from you, you are the youngest here, you already got hurt in your life, that you have been very disappointed, or that you were crying, or that you have had something very bad you have gone through. And everybody of you has, going, has gone through bad times, not only good times. And when they see each other, Jesus and Maureen, they see each other also, they get recognized even by their bones. So Jesus, that's me, I am also hurt, but I am with you and I'm going with you to heaven. And that's what Jesus did when he went down underground into the earth. He was taking, there are pictures in the Orthodox Church, he was taking the dead people already out of the earth, taking by the hands, and that's already happened to us, that he's already taking our hands when we pass away from earth, he's taking us to his life, to eternal life. That we trust. So it's always good when Jesus is saying, he was saying that to us, I am the way, I am the truth, and I am the life. So when you don't know where to go, think about Jesus, what he has done. That he's saying, I am the way. Look at my way I was going. I'm a peacemaker. I'm not a war maker. What's going on in the world is terrible at the moment. It's really, really terrible. That's not the way of God. It's not the way of the Judaism, the Jewish people. It's not the way of Christians. It's not the way of Muslim. That's uh, it's from from somewhere else. But he said, "I'm the way. Go the way of peace. Go through your pain, and keep the love with you. I'm the truth. He's true. I believe him that he's God. He has what he has done to us." and his life. And you go that way, you will feel the life. No one can come to the Father except through me. Jesus now is a way to get the people to how they can find their way. We don't know the way. We know the way, his way, but how he's doing it, we will not know. So we are trustful and hopeful for Maureen, who's looking so beautiful at the picture that she is going her way to heaven. It's a sad time, it will st you will stay sad for Peter, but life will also change. Not now, not tomorrow, not in one week, maybe in one year. Sometimes it takes long, sometimes it takes a short time, but you are allowed to live and to laugh, even when, we, when you meet each other, tell very nice stories of Maureen, like when she went to your shop, shopping centers and what was going on. It was not your way, the shopping centers, it was more your way when you have been here to go into the shopping centers and to drink coffee. But it's tell nice stories about her. Amen. Is there somebody who wants to say a word uh, at the eulogy? If there's somebody is to say some words, are you coming? This is from the family overseas, Norman and Monique and his children. To my wonderful sister, sister-in-law and aunt, I miss you more than words can express. Not a day goes by that I wish you were still here with us. Your absence has left us a huge void in my life that can never be filled. I cherish the memories we shared and hold them close to my heart. I will always love you and carry you in my heart. Norman and family, rest in peace, our beautiful sister.
there's somebody else who wants to say something? We are saddened by the death of Maureen, but we look with trust to the God of life and bring our petitions and requests before him. Lord of life, we pray, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Maureen thought you in her life, especially at the end of her life. Give her the joy of seeing you face to face. Lord of life, we pray, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Maureen was a very likable and honest person. Let us, who are left behind, learn something from her and strive for sincerity in life. Lord of life, we pray, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Maureen had a very difficult road to travel at the end. Not only at the end, through her life. Her husband and partner and family accompanied her. Reward them and the doctors and nurses for all the good they did for her, and give us strength in the future to stand by other people in need. Lord of life, we pray, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. It is difficult for us to say goodbye, especially when we lose loved ones. God, we ask you for comfort and to fill us with confidence on the way ahead. Strengthen in all of us the faith in a reunion. Lord of life, we pray, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. God, you walked all paths with us. On difficult days, we may know that we are especially safe with you. Praise and thanks be to you forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray the prayer we got taught by Jesus Christ himself and which connected all Christian believers. We stand up for the Our Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. And the rosary is saying the Hail Mary, so we want also to pray the Hail Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Let us pray. Merciful God, you know our thoughts and feelings. You know our fear and helplessness, our pain and our darkness. To you we come in this hour. With you we see comfort and light. We pray for Maureen. Grant her your closeness and your peace. 
and we also pray for us. Help us to be able to say goodbye to each other. Give us your reconciling love and lead us all to eternal life with you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. I will sing a German song now. It's called Zum Paradies mögen Engel dich begleiten. I think it, it's in German. Then we sang the last song. It means to paradise, angels may accompany you and the martyrs should, be, would, should welcome you and they should guide you in the holy city Jerusalem. The choirs of the angels should welcome you and Jesus who, is, who died for us, he will give you eternal life. Maureen. Zum Paradies mögen Engel dich geleiten, die heiligen Märtyrer dich begrüßen und dich führen in die heilige Stadt Jerusalem. Die Chöre der Engel mögen dich empfangen, und durch Christus, der für dich gestorben, soll ewiges Leben dich erfreuen. The Lord be with you, the Spirit. The Almighty, loving God, bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We will sing the last song. And then afterwards we hear the Ave Maria and the Paul Bearers will, at the end of this Ave Maria, bring her to, and we say goodbye outside. Yes.
Just be seated for a moment. I will ask the pallbearers to guide Maureen outside of the church. Please stand up.